time to turn in your badge because you're going to get somebody hurt or killed. Yeah, that's right. You should always learn something every day. Yeah, that, that's, every day. that's life. Absolutely. Not, not just the job, it's no, life. Absolutely. Round two. It, it only gets, it only go. it keeps going downhill from here. So don't forget to hit that like, share, and that subscribe button, all that good stuff. And I'm going to get out of here. Soliacker, deuces. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I had an officer no, call okay. me with a question. No, it's okay. Yeah, like I said, uh, but I mean, I, I think, dialogue's so, great. I mean, it is. Uh, when I went down, it, 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 no, no, I told. I don't know if I told him. No, I didn't tell him. But, um, he knows that I did law enforcement before. I did it for ten years. Okay. Where did you do it? If you don't mind, I don't. He knows like, already. Oh, okay. So, so oh, I mean, was it was it in Florida? Or was it in Florida? Okay. 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 So basically. Um, uh, I did a remodel. I didn't have my dog. Did a remodel at my house. My neighbor's wife worked up, at the one, city. The he didn't like my remodel. He house. had his wife get to the people. He's that like, like, get the people yeah, to come get up, up and bother get up. We're going outside and talk. Go to force my backyard. To you. Take I'm a picture search. Finally told the chief for the neighbor that was videotaping us while we're doing a remodel. Videotaping our kids. I said I want to sign stalking charges. He says no. He doesn't. You don't. You don't admit the requirement. He didn't threaten me. He's read that statute. It doesn't say anything. Aggravated it does. He says no. We're not going to do it. I finally looked at this. I said it's kill him. bullshit. He's gonna kill me. Let me sign the charges and just be done. I'll sign the bottom of the charging app. Finally, let me do it. Everything stopped. But in between then, I had officers follow me. I had officers drive my house. That's why you're a police officer. Yeah. This is yeah. after. Oh. That same city did a felony slap on me when I had a police ID. They're just like I said, they're I Yeah, I say that's that doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right. I, I mean, so, I didn't at that that after after yeah, I, I left is when I really would check the information. What happened to me? To show you how with bad they feel. Yeah. 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 They're like, well, we're, you know, we don't, we can't, that's unfounded. We can't find that out. Yeah. And I said, well, why are they doing this? If they're doing this to someone that has a little bit of a backbone, like I do, I'm not afraid to stand up for my rights or yours yeah. or anybody. Yeah. If they're doing that, what are they going to do to someone that doesn't have the ability to? They're going to take advantage of it, like writing these tickets for the scooters that no one knows about. That's, that's, that's kind of the, the correlation. And I literally said to myself, like, I can't believe this happened. There's no way this is happening. So I went out and did it. I went oh, out, I we're gonna went to Melbourne, walked around, did some filming, talked about the motor thing because I rode motors. Uh -huh. Oh shit! One of the Wait a minute, comes I gotta up and go. Says, I'm gonna arrest you for a felony if you record. Start yelling, nobody's just. Uh, so, so let me ask you. He, he, he did. It's, it's, uh, you know, hang, I, I, I just, I want to. You can play some. So. so and I, I'm not aware of, I'm personally not aware of anybody that that has written somebody a citation. I just, I'm personally not. Yeah. Um, but if you found that information, what did you do with that? So I replied it back to the city, told them about it, asked them okay. to refund the people for their tickets that they did, and asked them to pull that, that message off. Well, you know, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't have, I don't, I don't think it was a, a municipal citation or even a state citation. Okay. So, and you can do that. You can ask the court to void it and issue refunds. But I've done it before. Right, right, right. So anyway, I asked them to take it off the website. They did, and they took it off. So that was the mission on that one to get that one. So. Did they do it? Yeah. Okay. It was, it was good. It was worth it. They okay. So, so I didn't know. Uh, there are, always there are people out there, and I'm not saying that you are one of them. But there are people that would do that, and then instead of contacting or hey, there's this error, they just put it up on, on social media and go, look what they've done, and that doesn't necessarily solve anything. It just inflames things. Sure. Right? Yeah. Uh, so that's what I was trying to make sure. But no, I appreciate that that's the way you handle that yeah, if there was an issue. I mean, the, vid the video that I said was, hey, I'm out here checking the scooters. Yeah. I wanted to make sure that they're not doing this. But then it turned into that detainment because I was near the police department. And I think you, it was, I think it was you and that said, you know, the climate today was going on with this. Yeah, we are, yeah, yeah, so we, again, we, I, I, I don't want, and I don't think you would want it for me for me to go out to my patrol car and have somebody throw a Molotov cocktail on my, um, and what are they probably going to do beforehand is possibly stake it out. So we got to check to see what's going on, why is it, is, it's, our department is not in a, is kind of removed. Uh, by logistics really from, from from most of the rest of the city. There's not a whole lot yeah, around us, right? There to do. So it's it's odd to have somebody. And I wasn't out yeah. there for your instance, no. but but I would say I, I, honestly, if especially if it was in the evening hours, like yeah. you said, it's very odd to have somebody out there. What happens in day so, and evening? Well, day and evening. But if for somebody to be out there, what are they doing? What? Why are they out yeah. there? Is it because of it? It's something told, illegal. I told the officer. I said I was just checking out the chairs, yeah. watching you guys come and go, and that's about it. I'm almost done. I'm out of here. That's it. So I mean, it dispelled their belief if they had, but yeah. but yeah, coming to that approach. Uh, it's like thirty thousand. I'm gonna step over here if you don't mind. I just want to get out of this heat. If you don't mind, it's ooh, it's warm. Yeah, it's, it's, so I don't mean to be on approach on you. I'm just trying to share the, show your shade here, my friend. That's ultimately what it is. It's just, it's the three bad experiences, and then I'm like, let me come back.
Well, hopefully this is a good experience for you. Except for him. You wouldn't uh, like him. Uh, he, he ain't dealing with you. No, if you, you know, if, behind the scenes, he's pulling information, probably contacting my department. I, and I find out when that happens, and like I said, from, yeah, from pulling it the, the, the guy that the guy in Jacksonville, the guy was on the job for 20 years, and he lost his pension. That one literally internet stalking. This said he usually run the suspenders. Well, then I mean it's it's well deserved. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I use that I use that example because I don't want him feeling information, and then and then uh, you know and I know the. He's on that. You want to run the that numbers on that. Yeah, and he's he's with the he's with the fifth city attorney right now, probably. That's who he's talking to. I mean, that's that's the only guess I could think of. He's the city attorney or the chief or something like that. But no, the dialogue is great. I think we like it. The corporal had it yesterday. But what's that? Seven nine zero point two five. For the what? That's all. Just you know, when you have one bad experience, and you have a second one, and you have a third one. You kind of have to believe. You know, I don't want to get Stockholm syndrome when I come down here and oh, I agree. You know, feel like, oh yeah, you're great. But then I turn around and get whacked in the back. Not whacked in the back, but you know, uh, him looking up to you like, yeah, let's see if we can push some charges through him, just to, just to see if we can run him through the ring or to see if we can do that. Uh, because it's just an it's just an express ride. It's just that you have the ability to go out there and protest. Well, you can't because your policy says you can't do protests and demonstrations. Oh, not in uniform, but. Yeah. Um, but conduct unbecoming officer is one of those catch-alls like careless driving. So just, that's what they get you. But no, it, it's when I'm segueing and sidetracking to this thing. I think, it's a, I think it's a good dialogue, but it's it's only if the people at the top or the leaders are the ones that are doing it. Um, you know, when you're asking me if I have like-minded people at my work, we're like-minded people because we want to make money, we want to make goals, and we have one single mission to, to fulfill. Same thing with you guys. There's four or five different things that you have to do. Get home safe, go home safe. Um, Speaking of this, matter of fact, on Sunday, yeah, the guy that got trespassed, the right Florida really Fish and Wildlife guy, who has, has to be some jurisdictions or some type of a level of uh, you know hierarchy, he's over you guys, the state, city, state, county, city. He told the officers on, on scene that said uh, they're okay to be doing what they're doing, and they still trespassed. So this weekend. I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't want to talk about it because I was not there, so... I would it'd be inappropriate. I'm going to adjust my my weapon edge. Not that uh, some people think that's me trying to you know people us trying to be aggressive. No, it's heavy. not at all. <laughs> it's heavy to hold on the hips. Yeah, I just carry my wallet, and my phone, and I'm constantly, You're constantly pulling, pulling it off. Yeah. My pants. <laughs> but like even even you know yeah people think this sometimes think we're being aggressive. It's just a place. Of, it's just a rest. Rest. Yeah. yeah. You know, in, in Sergeant Mason, what, 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 what I'm seeing here is further attempt to make an identification. There's a virus going around, man. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We usually yeah, that's what I'm seeing. That's that's my ten years of on-time experience of what I would do and when a chief or an administrator comes in and says, "Get this guy's information. I can make sure I know who he is." None of us are on that classification of what the president classified as terrorist. I've seen his target wears like masks. No masks. So that's what that's what law enforcement is trying to do around here with terrorists now. That's not it. But this guy. Searched and hunted it. And I'm going to pull FDL records tonight. I'm going to send that public records request in and, and see if uh, where it was ran at, who it was ran by, and what time it was ran. Well, I don't think. Let me ask you, just play it over that again. All right. We're all out here. Everything is good. You have you do have officers out here because of a complaint of somebody having a firearm out here. Now. With you. If, you don't do anything. if we don't do anything and then he were to shoot and kill somebody, what what would be the thing? People would say, why didn't police do something? Why didn't they make sure he wasn't a convicted felon, that he was doesn't have a domestic violence injunction against him? But you know that there is no, there's case law against that, that you can't just go up. I mean, you have Terry versus Ohio. That's the primary one. But there's another one where, where a convicted felon dropped his firearm in the taxi. And I know you always know that defense attorneys and the laws always work in favor for the criminal. Absolutely. No, it's... The laws are in favor of the citizens, and sometimes criminals do get off because of that, but it's constitutionally designed that yes. way, so that way the state and the, the government doesn't have more power than it. Absolutely. Real fast, what he did, he left his, his firearm in there. Okay. He 
fell out of his pocket or something. Yeah. Careless, of course. Yeah, or, or, so then, your shirt had to ride up. Then you yeah, yeah just give me a second on this one. So he, he left it out there. Tag, tag guy, or the cab guy called the police, got it. He demanded his ID and did it. He lost the case. He was convicted of felony. He couldn't put him away. But he lost it because they did not have probable, probable cause to, to actually ask for that identification. There's no crime was being same thing if you say you know, if he's not a domestic violence uh, injunction or a uh, convicted felon. You have to go under the assumption that he's not first, and then once you have reasonable suspicion or probable cause, reasonable grounds for suspicion, supported by circumstances, sufficiently strong, or a cautious person, I'll go on to him. That he has the ability, that you have the ability to believe that he committed a crime. But if you go in before that, it's fruits of the poison tree, you lose everything. I mean, that's the way it is. That's, I mean, that's what it is. But in, in most of the time, like even here, I, you know what? I talk about 10. I talk about 10 there on the vehicles. His is below the AS1 line on that, too, as well. But they, you know, that's, that's the, the funny thing. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah that's below it. Yeah. They'll claim it's undercover because it doesn't have stuff on there and then it's exempt with the regular cars. But so, um, so you know, thinking about that stuff, it's really strange that, uh, that when I get into a room, when I go into a room and do negotiations with anybody, talk about something. This is a negotiation. We're negotiating right now. I'm negotiating. No, we're conversating. No. We're, not, we're not neither one of us is trying to get a, uh, a I'm win on anything. You'll listen to me and you'll open that. You'll listen to me and, and understand that you're not like all those other guys. I'm hoping that we'll talk and we'll both learn something. So what, what really occurs is... What's that? That's a good outlook. Yeah, I hope so. Everybody has something to teach somebody else if only people... So, so I don't remember. Yeah, we have an officer. He still works here. When I first started, I did a ride-along with him. He told me one thing he said, I, I've taken with me and I've tried to pass on to every officer. The day that you uh, believe that you've learned everything out here, that it's time to turn in your badge because you're going to get somebody murdered or killed. Yeah, right. You should always learn something every day. That, that's, every day. that's life. Absolutely. Not, not just the job, it's life. Absolutely. It's just a break Yeah, exactly. And the information business, really. I mean, yeah, actually, but the rails the real should be law. You stay on the rails, you find. But you deal with people, so you got to be ready for what comes in. Whatever comes up. So, yeah, that, yeah when I go into a room, I, I sit, I usually am the quietest one. I, I, got, I talk a lot today, but I'm usually the quietest one because the person that listens the most usually is the most intelligent one. I'm glad I'm the Absolutely. I absorb it. So. So, yeah, that's a, it's it. Just, just understanding rights. It's like, I got, I got detained for 45 minutes for holding a drone controller one time. I have a FAA pilot's license, commercial pilot's license. And the guys, yeah, I was using it for a charge, charging my drone. The guy held me there for 40 minutes or so, or 30, 30 or 40 minutes. And, um, and I was just like, I said, there's something up. First, I said to him, I was like, you don't have any jurisdiction over me. He's like, of course I do. Because that's what I am. If you, if, I'm going to tell you straight up, if I don't want to talk to you, if I don't want you to be here, I, I'm going to flat out tell you, like, you don't have any jurisdiction over this. And he doesn't. You don't have jurisdiction over drones unless you have an ordinance. And he's like, well, of course, we don't enforce federal laws all the time. I'm like, they don't federal law, you enforce. He's like, well, guns at the school. I'm like, because there's a state law. And he held me there for 40 minutes while he's trying to find my flight plan when there's no drone in the air. It's just. That, that's true. A lot of times, uh, police show up at the post office when it's federal property, and they don't they don't have an agreement. It's actual federal law that the police department locally with the post office has to make an agreement for the police to uh, uh, enforce a federal law. Yeah, exactly. Right, right, mutual, right. Yeah. And a lot of times, and I didn't know this, I was up in Indiana, but um, I was. At hey, may I take office. your seat? Huh? Are you gonna be walking around? May I take your seat? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I appreciate that. Sorry, I'm not ignoring it. So, <laughs> so, 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 so the chief of police, this is in Auburn, Indiana, which is just north of Fort Wayne, Indiana, but um, I went there to You can set it up. I know you're recording, but I'm recording, so it's real. Okay. Oh, okay, so I've got to record by policy, so I just said, oh, you don't have to be covert on it, man. I don't know. I'm over there to file a complaint on the, um, on the officers because yeah, Auburn, Indiana, during the, the quarantine, right media was exempt, so we were allowed to go out and record everything, see how, how the government was operating. So I went over and I talked to the chief of police, and the chief says, yeah, we don't even have an agreement. I wanted my daughter to have it. I'm okay. No problem. We, we, we don't even have an agreement to uh, enforce law on federal property, so we're not even really you know, supposed to be over there. So, But right in most post office, they have what's called a poster seven, which is federal law, and it's just like a recap of federal law, but it says right on the bottom, enforcement, federal uh, security officers, or if there's an agreement with the local community. Mm -hmm. 
Well, then we can do that. So, mm -hmm. but right it, now, the law's full of very little intricate scenes that, 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 that people will. We have a Florida day, day book. It's about that big, and it doesn't cover most of anything. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I've been studying law for about seven years, and I just got into it as a hobby. And yeah. you know, people would say stuff online, and I'd want to check it out. Sure. Online is full of a lot of really bad legal advice. It's also full of a lot of really good legal advice. Sure. And you know, sometimes people will say, if I start talking about law, they say, oh, well, you got that on YouTube. Well, Harvard and MIT put out classes on YouTube. You know what I mean? Those are the smartest guys in the world. Sure, sure. And then about a half hour later. This oh, wow. one. But uh, yeah, so so yeah, dialogue. So, you know, so is, is, is it? I mean, it, we did in there. Um, I was just telling Corporal uh, Nelson the other day, said, our officer. What are these guys? The cool thing is, I'm going to tell. They're, they're looking at. They're just looking at the statue. Are they looking at the guys? Hey, check this out. I got yours. So I, I was telling Corporal Nelson, he's an officer. Is it Pierce or Prince? Prince. The winds. It's who he's training. Oh, there was an officer, Prince, being trained. Yeah, yeah. I was telling him, I was like, man, I was like, like calling him as soon as you, I said, this guy's pretty awesome. When you, as soon as you get those, uh, as soon as you get those, uh, those IA papers in your mailbox, we had open mailbox. I said, you watch the, the repelling of I gotta stay with you for a little bit until you get that squared away. See my Bob Ross it sucks, you know. Uh, yeah, you know, I, that, that is a horrible thing throughout the industry, and you know, that, that, that does happen. And, and it's kind of one of those whole, and part of it is, 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 you know, you can't talk about IAs or anything like that. So often you don't want to get in that situation where they're accidentally talking about the elephant in the room. Yeah, uh, And it is, it's a, it's an, look, I have, I have been in IAs and I've also worked IAs, you know, as an investigation thing. And it's, uh, they are, uh, yeah, I mean, on both sides. Now I will tell you, if you get somebody that, that absolutely, they have absolutely done wrong, not they made a mistake, but they've done wrong, then they don't need to be wearing a badge or a uniform because we don't need, we don't need that kind of exposure. No, you know, we, we need people that are, there. again, people are going to make mistakes. My, my one IA that I had is a funny one. It's, I always tell the story when I have is, uh, uh, I was sitting with one of the deputies, and we were sitting there talking, running radar. It was like 3.30 in the morning. There was no one on the road Monday night. And uh, I picked up a, a radar signal at 97 miles an hour. The road goes straight, and then it bends like this, right? And it's a 40-mile-an-hour zone. I picked this guy up around the corner. He was, you know, the signal was bouncing back so fast. Oh, yeah. And uh, there's a white Lexus, black windows, uh, all dark, darked out, blacked out. He went by us. We went by him. It took us two miles to catch up to him. Finally got him stopped. Um, and at that time, I, I, we did a basically like a felony stuff. You know, driver without drawing down, just driver. Yeah, hands out, your hands. For some reason he's going that fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he pulls out. It's a black male driver, black tinted windows. Never said any bad words. Never said get on the bike. Right. Never said this. But his dad works as a superintendent. Big boys. Uh, sorry, my 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 uh, uh, boss. I can't yeah. recommend yeah. anyway, so short, I went through an IA for about six months for that because he was superintendent, and he said I said the N word, this and that. But it was all on video. Yeah, and they ran me through the ringer. Sometimes these are a wonderful thing. Yeah. So I apologize. Yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. You called away.
how you doing? Right. Nope, not him. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm just coming over to conduct a resource inspection, okay? Um, 